So a short trip over to Sydney, good flight, and Sydney does one thing well, which is the public transport at the airport. The train goes straight into the centre of town. And it's not bad, having lived here for about three months last year, I think I've got it worked out. So let's get on the train and get booked in. That's the Opera House, but that may look familiar. So I am here in Sydneyland. Well, it's called Sydney, but that sign says Sydneyland for some reason. As a guest of Zwift for their event night, they're running at the Rafa Cycling Club in Surrey Hills. So we're two days after the event we held in New Zealand. I'll link below to that video. That was an absolute blast. Sydney's gonna be bigger. Will it be better? We'll soon find out. Let's go have a look at behind the scenes with the guys setting up now before everyone arrives for the beers, pizza, and the competition. So Jesper, I've been asked to talk to you because you have a YouTube channel. I do. How's it going? Good. All good? You're loving Australia? So far so good. Alright, you haven't been to Melbourne yet, so we'll reserve that until you go to Melbourne. To be fair, I did go riding in Sydney and uh, I thought this was going to offend you a tiny bit, but I kind of yeah. like, like Sydney. You like Sydney? Yeah, then you're going to love Melbourne. Really? All right. So what's so special about Melbourne? The coffee. Coffee? Though I won't speak too loud because there's a coffee machine. Shh, shh. It's pretty good coffee here too, so. Alright, so what have we got here? We've got... VR. This is next level. If anybody saw my stuff at Eurobike, you know I love this 3D stuff, so... You can only try this at Swift events. You so you put on this, and then you're in Swift. You're literally, like, you can... I can't even see anything else right now, but you can see Swift. You can see the hills, you can see the banner. That's one thing we can't explain, is it, on YouTube? You cannot show 3D on YouTube. Well, I don't even know where you are <laughs> right now, so... I'm fully immersed into this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, I was going to hide behind. I knew you were, I knew you were. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> So, 6 o'clock here in Sydney, the show's just started. Let's have a look at how it all, uh, it's all come together.
enjoyed the hospitality of the Rapid Club and of course Zwick, who have provided such great entertainment for 2017 and years to come. Put your hands together for the man that came here with the most energy <laughs> in Sydney. Put your hands together for Paul Crowe. Yeah. <laughs> thanks everybody for coming. And thanks to all of you who actually came here with no intention to ride, and you actually rode. I think your steel cap boots are a perfect example of that. Some of your light kicks. You almost brought up the day's takings on them by the sound of it just then. And to Rafa for hosting it, to Steve Beckett from Swift, bring your whole team out here. And uh, the champion from Denmark, Gaspar, was killing it on the microphone. We're going to be working tandem on Friday yeah. in Melbourne. And hopefully, if you're not on Swift, get on board and give it a go. There's a free trial as well online, and it's worth a try, I can assure you. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thanks for coming. So a huge night in Sydney last night at the Rafa CC store. Uh, the place was absolutely packed. I think next year they're going to have to get a bigger warehouse to cram all the people in. But the night worked really, really well. We had Maddie Keenan, we had Paul Kraft, we had Jesper on the mic, we had a few special interviews. We had Kevin Poulton, who is Maddie Heyman's coach. We had Troy Herfoss, a, an Australian motorcycle champion and champion off the bike as well. And well, champion on both bikes and off, you know what I'm saying, great guy, good to catch up with Troy. and. Uh, Good food, good times, and uh, good shoe choices as well. Let's have a look at the shoe choices on the night. Let's, uh, let's count it out and see if two people on my ride. However, the best times were set with, uh, with cycling shoes with clip-in pedals. So if you're coming to Melbourne, pack your shoes and we'll have a set of pedals that will work for you. Somebody asked me about Canyon bikes. Very good question, and how they go on the trainers. Now, Canyon have a, uh, an interesting warranty, um, and they're like old bike brands. They're a bit hesitant to say, yes, you can use our bikes on trainers. I think they support them as long as you don't get out of the saddle. I can confirm these bikes are being used heavily out of the saddle on these kicker trainers, and I haven't seen any issues, and I'd happily ride one of these after they've been absolutely trapped. Well, they're not even being trashed. I was gonna say trashed, they're not being trashed. They're fine. So I'll see in Melbourne if they want to sell these bikes cheap once they're done with them because they're brand new bikes and I'll, I'd happily ride one. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. We've got to catch a plane down to Melbourne, get all set up. So we'll see you Friday night at the Rafa Store in Melbourne.